Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. Today I want to talk to you about AI chips, specifically AI5 and AI6 from Tesla, how they could change the nature of full self-driving, the robo-taxi, Optimus, and even more interesting, edge computing at large, which I think is a very important thing. I'm going to do another video on Apple and edge computing soon, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed, definitely do that so you can catch it. But anyway, first I want to do a real quick pit stop to charging, charging updates, Tesla charging. I think this is a very underrated aspect of Tesla that people just don't give enough credit for. Having a supercharger network is basically like having a gas station nationwide, at least in the United States and in many other countries as well outside of the US. And Tesla's chargers are becoming more and more ubiquitous. And actually, Max here actually said that. That's the title of his article. I will leave a link to everything down in the description today. I'm not going to go through this entire article. It's quite long. But the important part that I wanted to call attention to is that Max said, we are now also selling superchargers fully managed by Tesla. Our goal is to accelerate charging ubiquity by making the best charging tech available for any business. So anyway, you can go ahead and apply to have superchargers installed wherever you are. I replied to this saying people who own small stores, strip malls, or restaurants should pay attention to this. Get a set of superchargers and get quality customers who will stick around for a while. And apartment owners, which is another very, very important aspect of charging and everything, can up the quality of their offerings too. Well done, Tesla team. So like I said, I don't want to drill down into this too much, but if you imagine an apartment complex complex that says we have like six Tesla superchargers out there. As far as I understand it, it doesn't cost the apartment complex anything. And I believe that you would be able to charge like a Ford Mustang Mach-E or a Hyundai Ioniq or whatever. You'd be able to charge other things besides Teslas at these places. This would make the apartment have a definite appeal over other apartments. Same thing for strip malls, for gas stations, for restaurants, etc. Put in a couple of these superchargers at your restaurant or at your strip mall and you're likely to get people who are, you know, generally have more money than the average consumer because they're affording a electric vehicle, which is still an expensive vehicle to purchase. And those people are more likely to find you because if they go on the charging map, they will see those superchargers. So you're going to build foot traffic. You're going to have people who are going to be sticking around for 15 or 20 minutes or a half hour or whatever. And they're more likely, therefore, to go shopping at your shop for a period of time or eat lunch at your restaurant or something. So anyway, I think this is very much worth people paying attention to. If you own this type of property, I would definitely recommend you get in touch with Tesla and talk to them about this. All right, so on to the main event. Yesterday, September 5th, Elon posted, just had a great design review today with Tesla AI5 chip design team. This is going to be an epic chip. And AI6 to follow has a shot at being the best AI chip by far. So let's table that for just a second. Switching from doing two chip architectures, which was Dojo plus AI, to one means all our silicon talent is focused on making one incredible chip, a no-brainer in retrospect. Please join the Tesla Silicon team if you want to work on chips that save lives. Milliseconds matter. So the milliseconds matter obviously has to do with AI on vehicles because milliseconds do matter. If you can make a decision five or 10 or 15 milliseconds faster, that could reduce the potentiality of an accident or save you from a very unfortunate type of situation on the road. So inference speed on these chips is critically important. And Elon had actually talked about potentially creating a sort of quasi dojo type of situation by stringing together many, many AI chips in a training configuration as well. So that is also a potential. And then in response to Ali Sharif's question, the best AI chips for cars, you mean? So this was a limiting question, right? Just for that. Elon replied, could be wrong, but I think AI5 will probably be the best inference chip of any kind for models. In other words, large language models or any type of model below about 250 billion parameters. By far the lowest cost silicon and best performance per watt. AI6 will take that much further. So what does this all mean? This means that Tesla's inference could be gangbusters. 250 billion parameters is actually a really interesting, solid number that we finally got out of Tesla through Elon here. AI5 chips being able to operate about 250 billion parameter models is models that are, let's say, a quarter to a sixth of frontier models right now. So if you think of ChatGPT5 or Grok or whatever, these models are probably on the order of one to two trillion parameters. So 250 billion parameters is about a quarter to a sixth of frontier models, state-of-the-art frontier models that are operating 
operating in data centers and large data centers, the ability for a single chip to operate models that are on the order of a quarter to a sixth of these frontier models is pretty astounding. And then of course, being able to do it quickly in mission critical situations is also very much worth noting. But even beyond this, this gives us an idea of how big Tesla's driving models might be. I and others have taken guesses that Tesla's full self-driving models are on the order of 10 to 20 or so billion parameters. This would be a 10x increase in potential size of these models. And that's a full order of magnitude larger models. That means that these models could be substantially smarter if they're able to operate in the, you know, just a few millisecond range so that they're able to make predictions as quickly as AI4 chips are right now, you could have a much, much smarter vehicle operating AI5. And speaking of AI4 chips, we know that Elon and the Tesla AI team are working towards a model that's somewhere around three or four times more parameters than currently are being used for full self-driving right now. So that already could make these models substantially smarter. And Elon even said that the new version, the one that we haven't seen yet, feels eerily human. If you then multiply that out by another order of magnitude, potentially to 200 plus billion parameters running on these models, these models could and probably will be better than the best human drivers. Certainly they will have much faster reaction times than the best human drivers. And then as Elon says here, AI6 will take that much further so that that could punch it to a trillion parameters. It could make the inference time go down. It could do both. It could reduce the wattage of these operations, making batteries last longer for more traditional, you know, standard type of driving, not the edge cases. So we could be looking at really, really impressive stuff. Now, when will AI5 be here? Probably rolling out mid to late of 2026. So don't worry about it too much. If you're purchasing a Tesla right now, it's not going to be out of date for quite a while. And just turning back up to the previous post that started this off, AI6 to follow has a shot at being the best AI chip by far. I don't think Elon is talking about the best full self-driving chip, the best Tesla chip. I think he's talking about the best basically overall AI chip that is on the market. In other words, that chip could be the best inference chip if it's by itself, just a single unit or two units, but it could also be the best training chip if you string thousands of them together. And like I said, this is something Elon has mentioned previously, that AI6 might be able to do both inference and training. And if that's the case, you're looking at a situation where Tesla could produce chips that would be the envy of the world and might actually go into data centers centers like Tesla and XAI's Colossus and other data centers like that, but Tesla could eventually sell these to the external world. Remember that they've got a deal with, I believe it's Samsung for the AI6 chips. They're building a factory in the United States specifically to build these chips. And if they're able to get the kind of yields that Tesla is looking for, they could actually sell these chips to others and or rent out data server space. And so Tesla could become a major player in the overall AI hardware market as well, of course, as the software software, full self-driving market, and of course, Optimus. Speaking of which, let's turn to that now. So Nick Cruz Patane a few hours ago said this felt awfully similar. You got the evolution of the Starship engines on top and the evolution of the Optimus robot on the bottom. Elon responding to that said, we haven't shown Optimus version three yet. It is sublime. Wow. The second two images are V2 and V2.5. And of course, Scott had to get in. Elon said it would be sublime and have a disgusting picture of a lime colored robot there. So yeah, there you go. So good, good on you, Scott. And to Scott's credit, he called this hours before Elon posted that the version three has not been shown off yet. If you haven't seen my chat with Scott yet on all things Optimus and figure, definitely check it out up here. I'll also leave it at the end of this video and in the description so you can take a look when you want to. But the important part for this discussion is that we will first have AI4 chips in Optimus, which is what we currently have, obviously. But as the first AI5 chips roll off the line, my prediction is that they are going to go into the Gen 3 Optimus before they even go into the cars. Because of course, Tesla is producing hundreds of thousands of vehicles, while at the beginning, they're only going to produce thousands to tens of thousands of these Optimus robots. And in all honesty, full self-driving is already so good that the AI5 chips, while they will be important, are not going to be quite as as important to the fleet as they will be to Optimus and also potentially to the robo taxi as well. Although again, I think that the robo taxi will probably be AI4 for a period of time. We should see Tesla rolling off the first robo taxis off the line by the end of 2025 if predictions are accurate. So that means that they will likely be using AI4. So anyway, everything's going to be using AI4 for the next, let's call it about a year or so. But I think that the very first AI5 chips are going to be going into Optimus prior to any vehicles because I 
I think that Optimus being a humanoid robot with much more complex interactions with the world could use this and the numbers are going to be small enough that the initial production runs will be fine and Tesla of course can use this internally so if the AI5 chips kind of break and don't work as well as expected it doesn't cause problems out in the fleet. So anyway my strong prediction is that Optimus is going to get the first AI5 chips. Disagree with me in the comments if you want to or agree with me if you want to but let me know what you think about that. So AI5 is going to be able to operate approximately 250 billion parameter models, which are just massive models at near real time. In other words, just a few milliseconds per prediction. That apparently is what Elon Musk is saying, and that should be here in approximately a year from now. And of course, AI6 will be substantially better than that. Again, according to Elon, when will it arrive? Probably, I would guess, around late 2029, maybe 2030, something like that. You need to get AI5 up and running and operational. You need to get the chip fab built in. I think it's Arizona. I think that's where Samsung is building it. But anyway, you need to get everything up and operational. That's going to take several years. And the AI6 design, of course, is still early days. They haven't finished it or taped it out or anything like that. I believe AI5 is taped out and they're just working on getting it production ready. So AI4 for now is going to get maxed out over the next year or so. We hopefully within the next month will see a very substantial improvement in our full self-driving. We'll see AI4 chips running models that are about four times the parameters that the current values are. Again, probably in the 10 to 20 billion parameter range, something along those lines. And then about a year from now, we should start seeing AI5 chips arrive, being able to operate things that are an order of magnitude larger at the same sort of inference speeds. It's going to be really impressive to see what Tesla does in the next year, and then especially in the four or five years that follow as they maximize the potentiality of AI5 and then, of course, AI6. Alrighty, folks, that's what I've got for you today. Let me know in the comments what you think about all of this. While you're down there, if you don't mind liking the video, it really helps out. And if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, including that Apple Edge device video that I'm going to do very soon, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.